G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to put this front end together and I'm going to show you something pretty cool with the headlights. Let me show you how to make some headlight brackets out of a headlight bar. Now, I'd love to actually show you the process, um, but I'm not cutting up another headlight bar to do it. I made these guys quite a while ago but I do have a headlight bar to show you what I've done. So here we have an original headlight bar. I think this is a 1930, well it is a 1930 headlight bar. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Uh, I can't remember what this one was. I think it was the same, but all these are is that piece right here. So really the easiest way to do this and the way I made these is you cut your headlight bar right in the middle, okay? Cut it in the middle and that gives you some leverage point. Let me show you what you do next. You don't even need to drill holes for this. Um, on your front horns, you already have the holes. You've got, well that's where a rivet would have been for the front cross member. And that's a hole for whatever goes on there. But you don't have to drill holes. I've enlarged the holes a bit for my bolts but they're factory holes, which is, you know, another little bonus. So imagine I've cut this in half where I said to cut it. Then all you do, these holes line up. You bolt that down to those two holes, and then using the leverage from the long bar, after heating, using one hand, after heating this section, you can use that leverage to bend the top of that to the desired position that you want. And once you've got that desired angle, all you do is cut that end off. You have traditional old school headlight mounts. They bolt into factory holes made from factory parts that didn't cost you anything because you're using parts that you had. Pretty cool, huh? I think it's pretty cool anyway. And bam, headlight mounts. And the finished product will look something like this. But yeah, works nice. So when I made these, I did photograph them. Um, I did photograph the process. I will have a look and see if I can find them on an old device somewhere. Um, I think I might. You'll know in a minute. My perches haven't arrived yet because it's only the next day since I spoke to you last. Um, it's getting late in the evening and I won't be working on this for long tonight. But the show must go on. So I'm going to start assembling this front end. The wishbone's in. I've got the axle holding by a couple of bolts um, just sitting there, which will allow me to put the thing together. And when those um, perches come, I'm going to slide them in, do them up, stick my shackles on and we'll be rolling. So, yeah, I think it's a good plan. Let's get into it. Hey, dude. What's going on? Well, I just had a friend pop round, um, but in the meantime, well, I've got steering. Look at that. You probably can't see it. It's dark now, so I'm going to call it quits for tonight, and I'll be back when I see you. But that's really, really cool. All right, well, it's daylight hours, and um, I can check out my steering. And one thing I noticed that... Um, it wasn't running really smoothly and when you're putting standard parts in a car you kind of expect it to be right so what I found the steering arm that was in it which is the black one that was in my mongrel which had 
a different um, setup was fouling on the original setup. So I've dragged out one of my spare ones I've got, pitman arms here, and um, it's vastly different in shape. That's just lined up in the vise, and I've tried it on the um, original setup on the new car, and the steering works perfectly. So it pays to uh, have some spares. But basically what I'm saying is, if you're putting a car back to original and it's not working, something's not right because it should work perfectly. So we'll hit that with a coat of Uncle Paulie's restoration magic and we'll chuck it back together. <laughs> Heaps better because the fitment on that before was bringing this guy. Take it off. It was bringing it over here, and you had to sort of stretch it to get it over here, which you shouldn't have to do. So now it's got that full free range of movement on this side, and um, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Perfect. postman stops by my place this has got absolutely nothing to do with the car but this is something that uh, was a part of my childhood and um, I've been doing that over the years finding the toys that meant a lot to me as a kid that I no longer have and um, I've got most of them one day I'll do a video on them but this one let me open this up right oh I'm really excited about this this was something my dad bought back in the very early 70s and I don't know I've never asked him whether he bought it for me, he bought it for us both to enjoy, but I did end up with it. Tyco HO00 train set, and my favourite engine was the Santa Fe, and uh, I found one in a box in America, and uh, I've bought it. Let me open it. So I haven't bought this as a mint, um, unused toy, because they do pull some good coin. But this one did come with a box, which I thought was pretty cool. And um, the memories are, oh, the memories are fighting back. That's exactly the train I had. This is awesome. This is really cool. Remember the light used to light up. Anyway, let's get back to fixing cars. It's time to repack some wheel bearings. Say that in your best Australian accent. We've got hubs. It'd be nice if that postman delivered them purchase, but hopefully we see them soon. So before I put these wheels on, these are the wheels that were on the front of the mongrel and still got mud run gunk all over them. So I'm going to hit these with some cleaner, let them soak, and then I'm going to introduce a new segment called What's for Lunch? That's right, and today I'm having pizza. Sourdough margarita. These are good, I've had them before. 190 degrees Celsius for about 12, 13 minutes, and bam, yummo. Oh, you can't forget, add a bit of chili sauce. That's what's for lunch. Six bucks. Six bucks, not bad. Oh yeah, and it's wood fired, and then cooked in my oven after that, and then that's not wood fired then, but yummy. Check it out. It's fucking my camera lens. It obviously smells alright. What? What do you want? Yeah, I know. Check it out. Got a front end. It's pretty cool. 
just missing those perches. They'll be here one day. Um, but apart from that, it's a roller now. But I'm not going to roll it until we get them because um, it's just sitting on that spring. And I've still got some stands under there. I'm not that silly. So, anyway, that's it for today's video. I'm pretty stoked. Nice front end. Let's try this thing. Works. I love it. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Take it easy. What? Where's some of this? Yeah. Sit. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Sit down. Good.